May I come in, sir? Come, come. Good morning, sir. Morning. I will sit Pragyanand. Pragyanandan? Yes, sir. Huh? What does it mean? Uh, sir, Pragya means uh, a form of wisdom. And Nandan is like Kumar. <coughs> so, wisdom and son. Sir. So, how, how, what, is the, what is the connection? With wisdom, sir. Oh, yes, that's sir. very good. Yeah. So, you belong to Mayurbhanj? Yes, sir. What is special about Mayurbhanj? Uh, sir, Mayurbhanj is Simlipal National Park. And uh, it is also famous for uh, the Santal tribes. And apart from this, uh, the food that is the modi mangso that is it is famous for. Uh, these are major. Sir. You know what they call murmura, mudi is talking. Yes, you know? sir. Murmura yes, sir, and uh, mutton. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That okay. Thing. That's a special dish. Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me, you know, uh, we know that you know that we have uh, historical links. You know, Odisha, Odisha has historical links. Had historical links with uh, Southeast Asia. Yes, sir. And what was the old name of uh, Odisha? So it was Kalinga, then Utkal. Why? Why not rename it now? Why? Why keep keep, keep the name Odisha? You know, that Odisha is deriving from the word Udra. Okay. Udra, it is Odisha. So there was Udra tribe that was residing during the time of Mahajanapadas. But Kalinga will be an appropriate name, no? Yes, sir. Uh, in many places, Kalinga is also used unofficially. Unofficially. But, yes. Where? Sir. Where it is? So like the name of the hotels or uh, some kind of events, so it's calling a mosque kind of thing. So. Okay, okay. Now you watch uh, travel documentaries. Yes, sir. What kind of documentaries you watch? Uh, sir, in like uh, where there will be a uh, protagonist who will travel to some places like different countries, he will interact with them and he will showcase the different cultures, so similar kind of Which one you watched recently? Uh, sir, I have watched many on YouTube, sir. The uh, last one? The so last one, I have watched one documentary of Nomadic uh, Indian, there is a YouTube channel. And uh, I have watched his uh, documentary, uh, he went to China, so it was a 15 days series that is in China, so that I have watched. Have you visited any foreign country? Uh, no, sir, I have been to Nepal from the Darjeeling side, uh, only 5 km into Nepal, sir. Not uh, proper. Only region. 5 km into Nepal, yes, sir. okay, okay, okay. What is the present political dispensation, uh, dispensation, I'm sorry, oh, what is the uh, political state of affairs in Nepal? Yes, sir. Uh, so there was, recently there was a political struggle. So there <coughs> was power change. Before K.P. Ali was the Prime Minister and now it is, uh, <coughs> sir, the Prachand, uh, he is now the Prime what Minister. Is, what is his full name? Sir, Prachand uh, Dhamal, yes, sir. No, 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 I think you should know the name. <laughs> yes, sir, I will. Okay. Now, uh, is it favourable to us, the new government in Nepal? Yes, sir. Previously, it was Nepalese Communist Party, so which was closer to China because of the ideological similarity. Are you sure about it? Sir, before it was Communist Party of Nepal, sir. No, no. The, the present government, is it favourable to India? Yes, sir. Uh, more favourable than the last ruler, sir. Uh, don't you find a tilt towards China in the present Nepalese government? Yes, sir, there is a tilt towards China also. Because but why, why there is a tilt? We are doing so much for Nepal. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know the, the, is a, the, Nepal is a Hindu state. In India also, we have many Hindus. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, it may be due to the ideological, uh, ideological lineage towards uh, China. Mm -hmm. And secondly, sir, China is providing them a lot of credit which India cannot provide. So that is another reason. So the infrastructure development in China, the China-Nepal economic corridor, uh, the Trans-Himalayan corridor that is built. So they are getting a lot of uh, money from China. So that is the major reason maybe it is... Uh, we have also as. done an array of projects in Nepal. Yes, sir. But if we compare the uh, range of uh, the credit that is India providing and the China providing, the China part was uh, more than India, sir. More than India? Yes, sir. So that is the maybe the reason. <coughs> okay. But you know, China, as you know, gave a lot of assistance to Sri Lanka. And yes, look, uh, what is happening there now? Yes, sir. That is a thing the small countries should understand that uh, China, they should not fall into the debt trap diplomacy of China. So uh, Sri Lanka, that thing, that thing happened, and similar thing is happening in Pakistan now. The CPEC corridor, so that may be a failure. Okay, you yes, talked sir. about Pakistan. I was going to ask you on that. Yes, sir. Now, Pakistan Prime Minister has made a statement recently. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, mm -hmm. he was talking to a newspaper in uh, based in uh, Dubai. Yes, sir. And uh, he said that uh, he wants to have talks with India. Yes, sir. What, what, is your, what are your thoughts on that? 
Uh, sir, Pakistan Prime Minister wants to <coughs> talk with India because of the economic crisis they are facing. So, a trade with India can open, uh, a, open a, it, it can give a solution to them, the present crisis. So, I think <coughs> India should talk to them, but they are again bringing the Kashmir issue into it. So, that should, India should put a condition that they should stop cross-border terrorism in order to start the we, trade. We have put conditions. I don't yes, know whether sir. you read the statement that emanated from yes. the official spokesman of the Ministry of External Affairs. Yes, sir. So what did he say? Sir, when there will be back channel diplomacy, so that thing should no, be... No, 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 no. He said there has to be a conducive atmosphere. Yes, sir. And there should be no conflict, no terror. So, all that is there, by the way. Yes, we sir. have out of, we have also put conditionalities. Yes, sir. It's not that we said, okay, you know, you are welcome. Yes, sir. And tell me, uh, do you find a way out for the Pakistan, uh, I mean, for the Kashmir problem? Anything that comes to your mind, out of the box, anything? How do we solve the problem? Uh, sir, to st sir, presently, if we start trade with Pakistan and putting... No, 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 I'm talking about Kashmir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we can give them a condition that if we, they stop cross-border terrorism, then we'll start trading and we'll give them most favorable nation status. So, in that case, I think there will be, if there will be back channel diplomacy on this and uh, that can give, bring peace to Kashmir, sir, I think. No, by, by, by improving our relations with Pakistan, we can solve the Kashmir problem, you think? They'll yes, forget sir. about Kashmir. No, sir, the major issue is the cross-border terrorism. So, that should be stopped first. And the gilgit Baltistan and the Azad Kashmir region, so that thing, sir, that, that is a very critical and more studies are needed on it, sir. Thank you, Pragyan. <coughs> no, by the way, I forgot. You know, uh, your name Giri, for example, I wanted to ask you, but slipped up my mind. V.V. Giri, have you heard of V.V. Giri? Yes, sir. He was first president of India. I know. Where did he kind of, you know, start his career? You know that? V.V. Giri? No, sir. I am not. Barampur, sir. by the way. Barampur? Uh, yes, sir. sir he was, he was born in Barampur. Yes, he was a lawyer there. Yes, sir. Oh. And he became the president of India. Yes, sir. You know that? Yes, sir. So, so this Giri is what, I mean, is this, uh, there are very few Giris in Odisha, isn't it? Yes, sir, uh, very less. Compared to other surnames, it was very less. So, in Mayurbhanj it is there? You yes, sir, in Mayurbhanj and Baleswar, this region it is there. Not in other parts of Odisha? No, mainly the northern part. Okay, please. Pragyanandan. Yes, sir. You introduce certain things while answering questions of sir one of them was cpc yes sir what is that and what is the significance of uh, cpec for uh, china and pakistan both yes sir so cpec china pakistan economic and what is the significance or importance or you can say uh, what is the main point uh, about cpec as far as india is concerned yes sir Sir, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, that is, uh, for contact, uh, that is a infrastructure project and the connecting railway links and the highways from the Xinjiang region of China to uh, the coast, coast of Pakistan uh, till Karachi and the Gwadar port is also part of uh, CPC. So, the significance for China is that it is giving access of China to the Arabian Sea and it is uh, making its routes shorter because uh, previously China, currently China has to take its all the energy resources from West Asia to its east coast through the Malacca Strait. And uh, India has a comparative advantage on Malacca Strait because of the Andaman Nicobar region and the uh, Indian uh, presence of Indian Navy there. So, in that way it will bypass the Malacca Strait and it is giving another route to China to access its energy resources. And for Pakistan, sir, the significance is that it is getting uh, very, it is getting finance from China at a very low interest rate. And uh, secondly, so which, uh, for Pakistan to develop a CPC like project, it is very difficult. So, uh, they are getting the finance, so that is their advantage. And for India, it is a cause of concern because it is passing through the Pakistan occupied Kashmir region, which is an integral part of India. So, that is uh, the issue. What else Pakistan will gain from the project? Is it a trap? that China has laid for uh, Pakistan to their own advantage? Yes, sir. It is kind of trap because uh, the amount is very high and already Pakistan is in debt, a lot of debt and there is economic crisis in it. So, Pakistan cannot return the debt 
and uh, in that case sir it will fall into debt of diplomacy and it has to agree with the conditions that china can put in future like putting its military into pakistan and similar uh, things sir and why it is important for india sir it is a cause of concern for india apart from what you said <coughs> that uh, it passes through the uh, pak occupied kashmir yes sir what else Uh, so the Gwadar port, that is an issue. Uh, the Gwadar port, if China puts its for use of its navy, then it will threaten India's maritime security as well. So that is another issue, sir. Okay. You also introduced uh, two words, Gilgit and Pakistan. Uh, Gilgit and uh, Bal uh, Baltistan. Gilgit and uh, uh, Baltistan. Sir. Sorry. Gilgit and Baltistan. Baltistan. So. Uh, what do you know about Gilgit and pa Baltistan? Uh, sir, in terms of geography, in terms of geography, sir, it is part geography of geography and history. Sir, in terms of geography, sir, it is part of the Karakoram Range, and uh, it has similar uh, landscape like the Ladakh part of India. And secondly, sir, it uh, there is Kardu Air Base of Pakistan in Gilgit Baltistan, and uh, which was used during during Kargil War as well. And uh, secondly, sir, currently, um, historically, sir, it was part of the Kashmir princely state under H Hari Singh. And uh, Pakistan occupied it in 1947 uh, when there was partition uh, by sending how, its army. How, 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 uh, what was the conspiracy and how it was uh, occupied by Pakistan? <coughs> yes, sir. Uh, sir, during partition, uh, during 1947, that was a period of chaos, and that time, Pakistan sent its military in the in the disguise of civilians or in the disguise of militants, and they came till they they are planning they were planning to occupy till Srinagar, but uh, due to uh, due to movement of Indian army they could not occupy till Srinagar, so they stopped at the LOC region, which is the Kargil part, and 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 the left side there is Azad Kashmir region. Was there some conspiracy by some Britisher also in that? Sir, I am not aware about this. Okay. Rajan um, Nandan, you passed your 12th examination in 2014. Yes, sir. And then integrated MSc 2020. Yes, sir. So, um, during this period, you <coughs> did some other work or what is that? Yes, sir, sir. Integrated MSc was five years course. Five years course. Yes, sir. So, I joined in 2015 and it continued till 2020. So it is integrated BSMS, BSc ah. and MSc course. So one year gap. Yes, sir. One year I was taking coaching for uh, medical and other entrance exams. Ah, job for entrance examination. Yes, so um, basically, what is this course? Integrated MSc. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, it is beside chemistry. What else you have studied during this pe period? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, it is a five-year course. So first year we studied all the four basic sciences and also some humanities subject like the physics, chemistry. Uh, biology, math, and some uh, basic science courses like economy, social science, psychology, all these things. And so from second year, we take specialization. So I selected chemistry uh, for the next four years. And so last two years, that is fourth year and fifth year, we are attached to one uh, lab, one research lab. And we, we get exposure to research. We do one project under uh, supervision of a guide. And uh, sir, therefore, I have also one publication in that period. Mm. So in this way, it was five years course. This is Baba at uh, this Homi Baba National Institute. Yes, sir. Basically, it's a very prestigious one, and then they uh, go for the further for they take every branch in it. Yes, sir. Basically, physics also, chemistry yes, also, and all these things. So, what is the scope of work for the different branches? Sir, after graduating from this Homi Baba National Institute, and Niger is an autonomous institute under it. So, after graduation, they the bark there is opportunity in physics and chemistry background students and uh, other students are do phd pursue phd in foreign university or in indian universities like iisc csir all these things so after getting phd they come into either academia or the industries mm -hmm. famous thing in odisha kunark yes sir hmm. what is the background of all these thing sir kunark is a sun temple that was built in 13th century uh, by Langula Nursing Dev uh, and sir, 
it is famous for the uh, archite architecture as well as the carvings the beautiful carvings outside the temple walls and it is in a form of uh, chariot sir so there are 24 wheels and seven uh, horses like in, at the front sir. so it is also known as black pagoda and many legends associated with it so that's the uh, that have you ever place. visited that place yes sir i have visited hmm. and puri yes sir puri also i have visited puri temple yes sir hmm. What is the significance and the famous thing for Puri temple? Yes sir, sir. Puri Jagannath temple was also around 900 years old and uh, it is a very important Hindu pilgrimage site. And apart from this sir, there is Govardhan Matha which is one of the four Mathas uh, established by Sankaracharya in 8th, 8th or 9th century AD. And so that is why it is famous for sir. And the chariot festival that is world famous. And there is a famous thing that the flag of this Puri Jagannath temple flies with the opposite direction of the wind. Is it true or? Sir, that is actually a myth. Sir, that is not true actually. Hmm. Uh, that has been spread in media and other social media thing. And that is not true, sir. Hmm. It flows in the direction of the wind. Hmm. And you have the famous Battle of Kalinga. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. The people say that the Battle of Kalinga, the Ashoka laid down the way for the invasion for the other foreigners to India. What is your opinion about it? Sir, Battle of Kalinga of Osaka you were talking about, hmm. sir. Uh, then he started preaching the other thing that violence should not be there and all these things should not be there and yes, that sir. is why the Indian... Sir, as per what I have read, sir, after, uh, after the Kalinga war, Osaka changed from uh, a violent uh, form to a benevolent form by taking Buddhism. But sir, the military was not uh, dismantled or it was not weak at that time. So I think the security was same as before the Kalinga war and after the Kalinga war. Only the mindset of the king changed. So I don't think sir, that led, led to the foreign invasion. Sir. The mindset is the main thing, no? Yes sir, but the military was not dismantled. It was like before only sir. Hmm. So sir, uh, I have limited knowledge about this. Hmm. And Ashoka also was in Ujjain. Do you know about it? Asoka? He was sir. given the charge of Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. sir uh, yes. Uh, what was his role in Ujjain? Sir, there are four provinces at that time. So, hmm. Ujjain is one provinces. And uh, during initial days, he was the governor of that uh, Ujjain, that part. So, it was the southernmost uh, province of uh, his hmm. father. What is the significance of ge geographical significance of Ujjain? Sir, I am not sure, sir. Hmm. Because you are one of the... Ujjain is a very famous place geographically. Sir, it and is... And you, you have the... Sir, hmm? it is culturally famous because of the Mahakaleswar temple. Geographically also very famous. Geographically, sir, I am not sure, sir. Hmm? Sir, it is between Bindhya and Satpura range, sir. But, but about coordinates? Sir, it is at the center of India. Sir, hmm? I am not sure. Hmm. Because you have the geography as a, your yes. optional subject, yeah? please go through it. Huh? Okay, sir. Goddess of Wisdom. Who is Goddess of Wisdom? Sir, Ma Saraswati. Ma Saraswati. Okay. Have ever uh, prayers performed in Konar temple? No, sir. Prayers sir, not. Why? Oh, reason? Sir, it may be a reason that the Dharmapada, the son of the chief architect, he died there uh, during the construction. Uh, good enough. Homi Bhava contribution. Yes, sir. Homi Bhava is known as the father of Indian nuclear program. And he was a famous nuclear uh, physicist of that time. And uh, sir, he initiated, he gave the three stage nuclear program that is now currently going on in India. So, he has a great contribution to nuclear energy. And nuclear okay, physics. Polaris uh, related with geography. What is Polaris? Polaris. Yeah. Anyway, another names of Polaris are North Star, Polar Star. So, what do you mean by North Star, Polar Star, or Polaris, whatever you call it? Uh, hmm. Yes, sir. So, uh, this North Star, and that is used to, that is anciently used to uh, mark direction. So, it was present at the north direction. So, that acted as a landmark, sir, for navigation. Okay. So why this particular star? 
So it is always present in the northern part. So what is the reason? Sir, I am not sure. Does, does sir. it uh, does it uh, move at all? Does it not move at all? Sir, nothing in the uh, uh, nothing in the uh, sp space is constant. So everything moves, sir. So I think it is also it also moves. It moves. Yes, sir. And others also move. Then why this? It moves little bit because. Sir, I am not sure. Polar star hai. Not star hai. Top pe ho gaya na? Achha. That's the reason. Okay. So if you are standing on the north north pole. कैसे पता करेंगे पोलर स्टार वेयर विल इट बी इट विल बी एट द हेड आई थिंक जस्ट अबव द जस्ट अबव द हेड इज इट यस सर या ओके सो मोस्ट बैकवर्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स ऑफ योर स्टेट अर्लियर दैट वाज केबीके डिस्ट्रिक्ट थ्री डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स एंड नाउ दीस हैव बीन बाइफरकेटेड एंड इवन ट्राइफरकेटेड सो आई थिंक नंबर एट प्रेजेंट ऑफ द मोस्ट बैकवर्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स in your state is i think eight or more than that most backward earlier these were three mm -hmm. kbk districts we yes, used sir. to call it huh? yes sir kalahandi bolangir and koraput yes sir now these have been bifurcated or trifurcated now i think number is eight or even more than eight anyway whatever yes, that is yeah. what is that do you know sir i can give count like okay uh, now you tell me if you are selected in ias and if you are posted in any of these districts most backward districts of odisha so which steps would you take to uh, i mean so that uh, these uh, mm, uh, districts uh, um, can be benefited yes sir at present these are the most backward first of all uh, or you can tell me <coughs> that these are the regions that th these are the most backward districts and this is what you will do in these districts So the Malkangiri, Koraput, Nabrangpur. Uh, anyway, are, whatever uh, these are, yeah, leave districts. that. Yes, uh -huh. sir. And sir, one of the major features of the district are that they are tribal dominated. Okay. So if we contribute to the tribal development, then the development of the district can be possible. So one thing that can be done. So that how will you do the tribal yes, development? So three things we can I can focus sir, education, health, and their skill development or employment. So in case of education, we have I have to look at that uh, their uh, school dropout ratio is very less, and they are attending their schools, and the quality of education is also good. That I have to answer. And secondly, sir, in case of health, there is adequate primary health centers and the uh, doctors are there. So that is the major issue there now. Okay, number two. And sir, third also you have to look at the skill development and employment. So we can what we can do is that creating multiple MSMEs through the tribal self-help groups. So currently, sir, it is also being done by the Odisha government to uh, promote Koraput coffee, which has been branded, and the whole supply chain is managed by the tribes. Next. So, similarly, sir, the GI tag products are also there in Kandhamal district. There is Haldi. So in similar way, that can be done. And sir, uh, fourth thing would be to improve the infrastructure, so the accessibility. For example, sir, uh, uh, in Malkangiri district, there are many places, the Banda Ghati region, that is not connect well connected to the rest of the part. So they can be done at the priority basis, sir. So in this are these the rainfed areas? Yes. Do you sir. understand the meaning of rainfed? Yes, sir. They don't get irrigation. So related to that, what will you do? Yes, sir. And which scheme of the central government you would like to implement vigorously in these districts? Yes, sir. Uh, sir. so i would say if if that is uh, renfed region so millets can be grown there and okay. there is a culture of growing millets also in that region mm -hmm. so that can be boosted and the pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana that can be implemented mm -hmm. there for even more important than that are you aware of jal shakti abhiyan yes sir jal shakti abhiyan so what is jal shakti abhiyan uh, sir jal shakti abhiyan is rain water harvesting rain program water of the harvesting. government yes sir okay then what is the motto or uh, i mean what uh, what is the um, uh, important slogan related with this jal shakti abhiyan uh, sir i am unable to recall it catch is catch the rain catch the rain yes. okay now chemistry related with huh yes, sir. inert gases you know inert gases yes, can you name them uh, yes sir sir uh, <clears throat> argon start karein shuru uh, se from the very beginning periodic table helium uh -huh. then uh, neon mm -hmm. and then argon mm -hmm. krypton xenon krypton xenon okay yes. 
use of inert gases are these being used in any of the equipment instrument yes sir being uh, i mean in this room yes sir argon is released in this uh, light bulb okay inert gases now you have published a paper in the journal frontiers yes sir so uh, the w- what was the subject uh, on which uh, sir, you published yes, this sir. paper sir it was on unnatural amino acids so okay uh, so c- can you tell me in brief what exactly you mm-hmm. um, you have published in this journal yes sir uh, sir we made some peptides which attach them to an organic compound called ampiron and we found out that uh, the peptide is particularly uh, forming organogels in a particular solvent sir that is ethyl estate hexen so we studied their physical property uh, that why they are forming organogels and we published this paper okay world hockey cup in which stadia of your sir so, kalinga stadium in bhubneswar and uh, birsamunda international stadium in raurkela these are the two nay no, second one sir so, birsamunda international stadium in raurkela you speak so fast birsa munda international stadium ha huh. which place yes, sir in raurkela raurkela and second one bhuvaneshwar yes, sir. so what is the full name of that stadium in bhuvaneshwar sir it's kalinga stadium ha huh? kalinga stadium sir okay so what is the performance of our, of our country so far yes sir uh, presently sir india will play cross over with uh, with new zealand to get into a quarter final so it is okay. a pre quarter final stage and uh, related with spain related with wales what happened when india played with them yes sir spain and with wales two. with wales sir india won with 4-2 4-2 yes. and with spain with spain sir i am unable to recall sir 2-0 yes sir 2-0 huh? yes with england it is 0-0 okay thank you rajendran you wait outside Yes, we'll call you in a minute okay okay thank you sir thank you sir come in so pragyanandan yes sir how did your uh, interview go today sir i think average kind of sorry sir average kind of average yes sit properly sit that. properly put your back against yes, the chair okay sit comfortably just relax okay yes sir no you did quite well in the course of the interview uh you know we have assist uh, we have assist you that uh, you will get about uh, 63 64% which is a good score fairly good okay. score but you you have miles to go in the sense you can still improve you can probably make it about 70 with uh, some efforts from your side so we would like to give you some tips which yes. will stand you in good stead one uh, question which i wanted to ask you i forgot you know you are academically so good brilliant really you have you have done so well but why do you want to make a foray into civil services yes sir so that will there will be a question like that yes so what is your answer uh, sir i would say uh, sir uh, from school days only i was inspired to get into civil services sir i have seen my father work for the state government and uh, there sir i used to accompany him to the sites and i have seen the work uh, he does for the people and the respect people have for the government uh, civil servants so that's why i, I was inspired so basically this. you are uh, you uh, you i mean you saw the prestige attached to the service and sir the public interaction and public dealings public interaction also yes, okay sir. now uh, now coming to the tips for you you know odisha you know has a very uh, rich history you know yes sir question was asked about uh, kalinga war and all that so read very carefully and about about the jagannath temple the question yes, was asked i think you forgot to mention that it is one of the four dhams in india yes sir jagannath dham is one of the four dhams yes sir very important and uh, there is also another theory, uh, another interesting thing about the temple i don't know whether you know or not you know the sound waves of the sea for example yes, the sea is there but mm-hmm. you don't hear them inside the temple yes, either why do you know why no sir so that still remains a mystery yes, you don't hear the sound of the waves yes sir and and also they may ask you how the food is cooked there mm-hmm. in the temple is a unique way by the way yes sir you know about it yes, how sir. is it cooked like one pot is put over uh, other pot like 
and the uh, highest part that we come uh, prepared first. Okay. So, so they may even ask you when the uh, you know the uh, idols were built. Mm -hmm. What happened? Why, you know, Jagannath, Balabhadra, Shubhadra, they don't have their hands. Mm -hmm. why, why did it happen? Uh, sir, there is a uh, mythological story that Vishwakarma he used to build the uh, murtis and uh, suddenly he had a condition that no one should enter into that uh, no, no, no one should enter into the room where they are where he was building that murtis so i think the king indradumna he entered suddenly when he well, got, why did he go when he got no sound so at that time the viswakarma disappeared so that okay, is okay. It. so uh, now uh, coming back to the tips for example we didn't ask you uh, any question about geography specifically yes no? sir so please brush up geography, that's your optional subject. You know, there may be a question on seven wonders of the world. Do you know mm -hmm. the seven wonders of the world? No, sir, I, haven't, I have not remembered. Sir. You do? Yes. Seven wonders of the world. Does anything from India figure in that? It's a Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, okay. Yes. Uh, you know, by the time, when is your interview? Sir, 2nd February. 2nd February, so just? Yes, sir, 10 days. But maybe you will have something, uh, the, maybe the budget. You know, the economic mm -hmm. survey and budget will be there. Yes. So, you need to prepare uh, very carefully, uh, make notes on both. And are you reading any economic newspaper? No, sir. Currently, only Indian Express. No, I think just read Mint. Try to get Mint or the Economic Times. Okay, sir. Straight away. I mean, just <laughs> without any agitation. Mm -hmm. And make notes when you are reading the paper. Say anything about Indian economy, our trade, world economy, dollar, oil trade, you know, read mm -hmm. all that. Then, uh, last but not the least, because you did physics and chemistry. Yes. There may be a subject expert, you know, on physics or chemistry. Some mm -hmm. questions were asked today. Mm -hmm. So, there will be questions on physics and chemistry. So, do, just brush up. I mean, I, you yes, know sir. better, so you put brush up. And coming to international affairs, uh, because Indian Foreign Service is your second preference. So, yes, prepare well. How do you prepare? You have to identify some of the important international events. First, mm. which is comes to my mind is the war, the Ukraine, mm. you know, Russia-Ukraine war. Read about it. Second, G20. Focus on that. Read about it, what is happening. Third, probably, you know, the, uh, you know, the conflict is going on, as you know, Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Mm -hmm. It's a very age-old conflict, but still on. I mean, they haven't found a solution to the problem. And, you know, uh, now Israel is also in the news. And then there may be a question also, why are we so friendly with Israelis? Mm -hmm. You need to find out that. Yes, sir. You know, why we are, you know, Palestinians have been our friend because mm -hmm. we also support Palestine. But mm -hmm. we are very friendly with Israel. So there may be a question on that. And coming to our regional set of, for example, SARC, mm -hmm. there may be a question saying, why we don't hear about SARC anymore? Mm -hmm. There was a time when, you know, SARC was very much in the news, you know. We had yes. SARC summits, but now nothing is happening. Why? Mm -hmm. So there may be a question like that. So all the very best. I think you will do well. We have our... You have our good wishes. Please. Just one thing uh, to suggest to you that, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier, because you are from Odisha, so prepare well about Odisha. Mm. And also one uh, one question that uh, is is uh, generally asked about Odisha that it is very mineral rich state but it's still poor economically what are the reasons just analyze them mm -hmm. if certain part of odisha you know the question is also asked why one part of odisha is very developed yes sir which part is not developed by the way sir western and southern western. part yeah so you have to say <coughs> thank you yes sir. thank you all sir. the very all best for thank you sir thank you very much